Now, Sonam Kapoor is not one to hold back on her opinions. She speaks her mind and does not really care if you agree with her or not. But at a recent event, she said something that really stuck with us and we might just have to agree with her. There's poison in the water, poison in the rain. Sonam was asked to comment on the recent event of a woman being sexually assaulted in a cab in Delhi. And this is what she had to say. It's not about making rules and having rules and banning things and doing that and doing this. It's about trying to change the nature of the way Indian men think. I think that's the basic issue. But she has a rather effective solution to this issue that all of us are being forced to deal with. First of all, mothers need to bring up their men in a certain way. And do not make him into this, put him up on a pedestal. He needs to be treating, he needs to learn from a young age that you need to treat a woman right. And a woman is not to be treated like an object and not to be treated badly just because she's a woman. Way to go, Sonam. There's no other way of telling them than keeping it simple, truthful, and to the point. We at 9XE The Show salute you. Another person who deserves a salute is Sanjay Dutt. How would you feel if everything around you is going just fine and then whoosh, you have to give it all up? Something of that sort happened when Bayro Singh, aka Sanju, was shooting for PK. <laughs> 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 These are some clips of Sanjay having fun on the sets of PK and making everyone laugh and generally spreading the cheer. The team also celebrated Sanju's wedding anniversary. Things were going just perfect for Sanjay and then a heartbreaking news took everyone's smiles away. Suddenly when this news came that Sanjay has to go to jail, there was one day of shoot left and that uh, one day was very tough to finally shoot with him and he shot that I think just two days before going. Sanjay is so close to me that I feel his presence all the time. And also he's extremely positive. He writes to me from the jail saying, I've got eight packs now and he's doing exercise with, you know, he's got water in buckets and he's lifting water buckets. And so, and, and my deal with him is when he comes out, we start Munna by the day he comes out. So, so he keeps reminding me of that and I'm trying to write for him. So, so no, he's, he's good, he'll be fine. It gives me shivers thinking about their parting on the sets. Not saying much about their marriage is Soha Ali Khan and Kunal Kemu. Wedding season is on and it will continue into early next year. And it seems that Soha and Kunal might just take full advantage of this. At 9XE The Show, we've learned that Soha has registered her marriage that will take place anywhere between the 25th of January and the 2nd of February. But when we got in touch with Soha, she played the coy bride and gave us no answer. Kunal and Soha got engaged in July while on a holiday in Paris. How awesome is that? Kunal chose the most romantic city in the world to propose to his lady love. Soha tweeted, It gives me great happiness to share with you all that Kunal proposed to me in Paris with the most perfect ring in the world, and I said yes.
Looks like Kunal and Soha want the wedding to be a small affair with only friends and family. But when famous families like the Patodis and Tagores are involved, it can't really be an intimate affair. Just ask Saif and Karina who ended up having a lavish wedding across cities. All we can say is congratulations to this couple because her brother Saif Ali Khan has confirmed with us just a few hours back that his little sister is indeed tying the knot between January 25th and February 2nd. Well, Soha is not saying much for now, but don't be surprised if she announces her wedding on Twitter just like she did her engagement. All we can say is congratulations to the happy couple. Coming up, Tushar and Aftab take a dig at Ritesh.